Howdy folks, welcome back. This is Zelgrax playing some more Rimworld with the Royalty DLC. And uh, we are back here. Having said, I'll come up with a name for Windsor. I have so far not come up with a name for Windsor. Um, hmm. I will name you, uh, what are you, male? You're male. Hmm. Named after one of my favorite cats. Obviously not from Cats the Musical. We don't talk about that. Uh, let's just claim this so they'll patch everything up here when they get around to it. Uh, we don't want everything broken down in our base. So, uh, for now, I'm just going to keep having them uh, run around and uh, bring things back in. Uh, as far as restrictions, um, I... So, I've, I've watched a lot of people play Grimoire. Um, and... Um, a lot of uh, what I've paid attention to was uh, people like um, Quill18, and uh, I, I kind of like his philosophy of um, not really setting too uh, strict a um, uh, setting too strict a day. Um, if they need to take a break, they can. Uh, so I, I, I kind of I'm on board with that philosophy. Um, I love the, the sweet sound of what this thing's going on. Uh, I think furniture wise, we are going to need to make steel beds. Um, it's a little bit of a shame. But let's pop those in. So they have someone to sleep. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit. Well, they might see come in before they have to sleep. Excellent. Hmm. Just in time. Um, and then while they're sleeping, we're going to go ahead and establish some. Uh, Sleeping zones. Oh, I forgot I needed a double bed because I have uh, Peregrine and, and Gur are in love. Um, okay, so we'll just kind of do rough ones, I think. So we'll have a 10 by 10 here. And then we'll have a, okay, we'll a 10 by 10 here. <clears throat> and let's just make sure. So I want one quick growing thing just to make sure we have some food coming in soon. So I will put rice here. Uh, this one I will do corn. This one I will do cotton. Um, we cannot grow um, herbert yet, so we're not going to. Uh, I'm not going to mine anything right now. Uh, this is still fine for now. Not too worried about trying to get. Um, about trying to get. Uh, Uh, research going until we need it. Uh, we'll just put this back here for now. We'll be good. Poor. Poor. Well, that's easy enough. Just to get these two. Poor. Uh, no, we're going to do that again. Okay, no. uh, do you need recreation variety? Poor. Okay. Um, we're going to keep going until we get something better. Uh, we are getting a <clears throat> a slight loss of things. That's good enough. I will accept normal in the circumstances. Uh, so this is going to be Eagle's Bed. And then this is for uh, Gur and Peregrine. And what I'm going to do is just slide Peregrine over to the side so I can grab my shooter separately. Uh, I think it was, I was watching Chewy shoot who showed that off, and I hadn't seen that before. Um, for now, I'm going to continue just letting them uh, keep holding things. We really want to get this, the, the food and components and stuff in before everything gets destroyed by the weather. Um, there is a lot left to haul. Gur is now off on farming duty, which is good to see. What a strange decision. I don't know why the the uh, the game logic there decided to move over, but hey ho. Uh, we should put in uh, again. We stick with steel. We do have a lot of steel on the map, so that's good. Uh, we'll just set up some. No, I thought I had a river. I'm just realizing I have no river. Oh well. 
Hopefully we'll get good uh, sunlight here and we'll research um, more research solar panels. I'm hoping Mushu will um, take care of his own food needs for the most part. Uh, we'll see. We are going to try and train for um, falling ability, which will make Mushu a very useful uh, member of society. For now, <clears throat> we just want to focus on getting the very basics established. Get some uh, recreation on as well. Good old horseshoe pin. Obviously out of steel because everything's out of steel at the moment. We have a normal table, a four chair, uh, a normal chair, and a four chair. Excellent. What a what a great bit of work they're doing here. I have no idea how we have agave fruit. Oh, it must have been. Uh, yeah, we have wild agave here that's being um, being collected as they uh, plant. I was going to say, should be should be sowing everything right now. Uh, we are getting some extra wood out of this, which is good. Might be time to consider um, putting some rooms in. Uh, let's just see. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually knock through here and we'll take advantage of this wall on the other side here too. Especially since we're, we're going to have to dig in anyway. Um, yeah. Oh. Well, that's sad. Are they... Uh, oh, they're still lovers. But uh, Peregrine does not want to be married right now. Well, I understand. I mean, it's it's a strange time. To, to do this. Uh, oh, we have some visitors who have some things to say. Oh, oh, and we found the ancient danger. Yep, sure enough, it was over here. Wait, is that the one? Yes, that's the one I thought it was. So we will trade. Um, as we know, uh, just about everybody here is good at talking, but the best is Gur. So, Gur, when you're done doing whatever you're doing, please talk to. I'm sorry, what was that name? Man... Mansonovich. Um... So we have some spare Synthrek pants. I'm actually going to hold on to those, I think. An incendiary launcher is... Tempting, but seems a little risky. Uh, it's not really a lot to do here. Uh, opponents will be able to get that to the issues. So for now, we'll just say thank you. Uh, one of the uh, mods I do have is the trading spot. That will just... Um, Encourage them to, to loiter in a certain area. Which I think is really nice. Oh, that was quick. So, with the food coming on, uh, I think it's time to start thinking about what we want to build and where. At the moment, this is just storage, and it may stay storage. We need to keep our storage in the middle here. Um, I tend to go a little free form. Uh, again, I, I, I don't like it, but to, to build everything out of steel. Um, but I mean, hey, that makes it more sturdy, I guess. Uh, we do have a quest here. Let's look at this quest. So, Ariadne Re, a countess of the Exodus Empire, is calling from nearby. She's being followed by an angry cat. I mean, it happens. I actually ran into someone in the parking lot the other day who was being chased by an angry cat. She had to pick up a dog and run away. Um, she says the she only wanted to see the landscape on a quick walk and never expected such a deadly threat. Re wants you to keep her safe at Colony. We haven't even named our colony yet, so it's just called Colony. For a few hours until her shuttle can come and pick her up. She promises not to be offended by your body odours or lack of manners. Good grief. Uh, she will bestow eight royal favour on who... Em, surely that should be whomever. Whoever accepts this quest. Uh, this is enough favour to receive the royal title of Yeoman. 
and all benefits that come with it, including a psychic amplifier that gives psychic abilities. Okay, this is uh, the path into um, the uh, large portion of the royalty DLC, which is the psychic uh, powers and making your uh, get down, Kiki, making your uh, characters become part of the, uh, the the blue bloods in the area. I am absolutely accepting this quest, uh, but you have to choose who you accept it with. So we have to decide who we want to be our psychic threat. Well, given that we have two shooters and currently one melee, I like the idea of accepting with Peregrine. Um, for one thing, I've already kind of pegged her as um, my uh, my sort of my main um, most most important character, I guess. Uh, so the idea of having her have the powers is quite appealing. So, let's have a look at Bree, or Ariadne. Um, she's leaving in three hours. Uh, she has quite a few uh, incapable of commoner work. Wow. Um, she has a, a lot of abilities here. Berserk. Um, look, look at those skills, fantastic. Uh, however, it doesn't matter because we have um, She's very unhappy here, um, which is a problem. Two. I have two of them. Okay, so what we're going to do <clears throat> is. Um, we should be able to keep her safe relatively easily. Uh, we will, however, restrict her. Um, just, uh, because she's currently under our uh, protection for now, we'll just stick her in area one and keep her safe. Because any second now, an angry cat is about to appear. Told you. Okay. This is it. This is what we've been training for. A mildly annoyed cat. So, uh, you need to go over there. You too. Come here. And Peregrine, you come down here, please. We have not yet, I don't believe, trained Mushu, so here goes Marie. Um, also, um, some nice gear she's got here, but not. we're hoping we can do it without having to put Peregrine in the line of fire. And we succeeded, thank goodness. I was getting legitimately concerned. Um, we need to set up somewhere to just stick bodies. So let's do that. Here, we're going to allow rotten and fresh. Uh, no chunks, just corpses. That's where our bodies are going to go. And we have idle people. Okay, so we need to uh, really start working on our buildings. Uh, I mean, I would like to have a kitchen somewhere near here. So I think I'm going to have that. Um, broken out from things. Uh, we will be taking this um, this block of steel down at some point. Uh, and there's a lot of steel in there. So, um, I mean, everyone has a different idea for a kitchen. I would like a, a sizable um, fridge. And it's going to be difficult to keep it cool uh, out here, I think. Why does it feel like I managed to mess that up? I did. So this will be our freezer. Um, realistically, we're going to need two coolers and something the size, especially because the temperature is going to get a little warm out here. We will allow this cat so they can just drag it out of here. So this is going to be where the food goes. Um, It's fine. It won't look pretty, but it's fine. We are going to do some good things. A little airlock to help me keep the temperature on. Oh, that's a good location for it. Um, I have no reason to keep uh, 
uh, Rudy here, she's just gonna get annoyed because she hates it here. Like, absolutely hates it. So the sooner she goes, the better, quite frankly. Uh, we also need to work on some power, I guess. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that we're going to be blocking off most of this. I think. For some power. Re is in the shuffle. The shuffle is in. Fabulous. And somewhere. Is Eagle carrying it? No. Nope. Somewhere. So we've completed the quest. <clears throat> there we go. Peregrine is going to install the psychic amplifier. Peregrine is now firstly a freeholder and now a yeoman or yo person. I'm not sure if there's a gender neutral term for a yeoman. Um, she has the psychic amplifier as a result. Uh, if she dies, um, Golden Eagle will get the title. I'm going to change that so it's Gur Falcon since they are lovers. That just makes sense to me. Um, Looking forward to some removing this cat. Uh, we do need somewhere to store our rocks. Uh, for now, I'm just going to create a dumping stock pile over here as well. Uh, this will uh, not have corpses. Uh, we'll put chunks in there and uh, put steel in there too, but let's not worry about that now. So, these we want gone. <clears throat> Let's find those. Lovely. We've got a whole bunch of those um, chunks of shipcraft. Shipcraft? Spacecraft. Yes, far more sense. Um, that will have uh, steel and components in them. Which is obviously very good. Okay, we have the power. I'm going to set these to. Uh, let's try 26 and see how well they do. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, how does this do? It's 27 degrees, so that's very good. So Gur is going to go eat our low food supplies. We have 31 meals right now. Lovely. Um, uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is create uh, a zone. Just 
banned Mushu from inside our freezer. Ah, good. Cap is uh, not spoiled. That's perfect. Uh, I'm going to move these rocks and some of these rocks. this open um, so that uh, you got the hot air coming out of the, the heater here so we don't want that uh, getting messed up. And I don't mind having a fairly sizable kitchen honestly so I think I'm going to do something like, like this. We'll butcher at one end, this top end probably, we'll cook at the bottom. Um, if need be we may switch it up and have, when we get bigger, we're actually going to put you on the bottom, I think, and then we can potentially fit in two stoves up the top here later. Floors yet. Uh, at this point, I don't think there's really any need to put in floors. I don't think we're doing anything by having floors. Uh, rice is growing some of it quite quickly. That's good because we are going to need food soon. Uh, I don't mind them watching some construction at this stage. Yes. Oh, we're out of Um. So, who's our. Uh, Uh, so who's our miner? Gur is a oh, miner and our grower. Mm. I mean, everyone's going to have uh, mining at some level. That's fine. I'm not going to be crafting right now. Um, it might be time to just consider researching since we'll need power. So let's go ahead and also get um, a. That's right. Oh, I can't build it out of steel. Can I build it out of. No, I need steel for that. Do I need steel for every version of it? I do. Okay. Aha! Excellent. Uh, faction is going to be called um, the uh, the Raptors. Uh, I do like randomizing, and that's kind of fun, but I have a specific idea for this. Um, and this will be the Eerie. Wait, I hope I spelled that correctly. Oh well, done now. Ooh, that is some slow mining. They'll get better. Probably. Now, Mushu, you just went in there, right? Oh, huh. Um, it helps if you assign Mushu to an actual location. That is not what I want to see. Okay. Uh, heat wave is not ideal. Our people aren't really prepared for that, and we don't have a lot of steel to be going around. And, and we have no choice. We're going to have to do this. And um, yeah, we just we really need this mining, uh, kind of as a priority now. Steel has suddenly become our our bottleneck. Uh, although we can, this would probably be quicker. So let's deconstruct all of this. Wow, already. Um, oh, it's just initial. Okay. Initial heat stroke, I'm not too, too worried about. Uh, they should go. Yeah, construction is higher for everyone except for so they should um, switch to.
Pure is actually very good at mining. Six with passion. So I assume she is seven. And we just want to make sure that we get the cooler in first. Uh, that's our that's our main priority here. That's the cooler. So that they have somewhere safe and cold. And we're only gonna set that to 70, that's fine. And now we have steel, we can also go ahead and we will still put this in as a steel um, in the location, but we can do it. Sharon. Um, this will now allow to be built and we are almost ready. I feel like this is painfully slow start, but what are you gonna do? Uh, we'll put in a light in here, another one here, and have another one here. Gazelle kill the Fennec box. Wow. Uh, we're going to allow that. Uh, that means we're And we're going to allow this Gazelle to. And when we come back, we're going to take a break here. When we come back, um, we will take care of Veronica. Uh, do we want Veronica? Veronica can offer to medical, artistic, social, cooking, or intellectual. Um, Veronica is a good shot, and that's about it. Uh, I will have no Thank you very much for watching.